Welcome to CBS This Morning. Charlie Rose and Gail King are off today. This is Labor Day, the traditional start of the fall presidential campaign. And President Obama has been on the attack all weekend in key swing states. Bill Plant is in Charlotte, where the Democratic National Convention gets underway tomorrow. And Bill, good morning to you. Rebecca, Jeff, good morning. You know, since the Republicans ended their convention and Mitt Romney hit the road, the Obama campaign's line of attack has played off what it charges are the Republicans' distortions and untruths. The campaign staff and the president himself have accused the Romney campaign of outright lying. In the swing state of Colorado, President Obama was on offense, telling voters what they should expect from his rival's campaign. The other side's gonna spend more money than we've ever seen in our lives with an avalanche of attack ads and insults and uh, making stuff up. <laughs> Just making stuff up. That was the same line of attack his senior aides hammered home on the Sunday political talk shows using the L word to describe the Romney campaign and specifically its message on Medicare and welfare reform. Their campaign is built on a tripod of lies. The one thing that you were left with is they really think that lying is a virtue. But the president's advisors were on the defensive about a key question for any re-election campaign. Yes or no, are Americans better off today than they were four years ago? Listen, George, the, you know, they did a good job of reciting all the statistics everyone's familiar with. I think everybody understands we were this close to a Great Depression because of the leadership of this president. We, we stayed that off. Can you honestly say that people are better off today than they were four years ago? No, but that's not the question of this election. Governor Romney was on the trail this weekend with a message of disappointment in President Obama, couched more in sorrow than in anger. We've seen these last four years a lot of disappointment. A lot of families having times. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia. Kiana. Rachel. That general lack of enthusiasm was something the president tried to address Sunday in the college town of Boulder, Colorado, speaking to students a little raw that their football team had lost to a rival Colorado team earlier in the weekend. I know the Rocky Mountain showdown did not go down the way you wanted. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we are going to give you a chance to get even. The president proposed what he called a Rocky Mountain Rumble to the students of Colorado University. To see which school can register more voters, CU or Colorado State. Now registering more voters and just as important, getting them to come out and vote is a major goal of the president's campaign because of the number of undecided voters in the key swing states is so small that the difference between winning and losing may be people coming out to vote. This coming week is the kickoff of Barack Obama's last campaign, his last best chance to rekindle the enthusiasm that got him elected four years ago. Rebecca, Jeff. Bill Plant, thank you very much. Also in Charlotte this morning,